All right, this video is going to be on a 2021 Dodge Ram. Uh, basically, I need to do a little cleaning on the inside of it. So I went to uh, clean out the cup holders and stuff like that. Uh, I use this construction vehicle. So sometimes the bottom tray down there gets a little bit dirtier. So these top compartments here, these rubbers just pop right out of them. If you want to clean the cup holders out, though, you can't just pull the rubber insert out of the cup holder. And it's also hard to get this rubber mat out of the bottom, even though it lifts up. With this tray in the way, it makes it almost impossible to get out of there without dumping everything that's on the bottom tray uh, back into the console. So I'm going to show you how to move this little sliding tray here. I've looked all over. I didn't really see anything on it, so I figured I'd go ahead and post a video on it. This will probably work on different years of RAMs, but uh, again, this is 2021. So the first thing I want to do is pull the rubber insert out of the back here. I've already cleaned it out, but like I said, I started looking down the bottom. It looked a lot worse uh, than what I expected. So after I get this out, we're going to remove this top piece of this console here. So as you know, the slide button goes back and forth. The little notches are what locks it in place. To get this out of here, what I want to do is I want to grab it from the back and lift straight up. And you hear some tabs popping. I think there's six or eight tabs under here. And just lift straight up. Once you get to this point here, it creates like a little bind. Don't just keep pulling. You're going to fold your plastic or make a mess. If you can get your fingers or body tool underneath the front, get them under here and pull up on it. If you can't, if you grab firmly, and again, this is straight up, pull, and you'll hear the tabs pop. And again, just go slow. You don't want to break it when you do it. Once you get it this far, if you push back on the back a little bit, you, then you can get your tool, put your fingers under the front, pop the last couple tabs. Now it doesn't come right up off there. You actually have to push the button in to get the tray off. Once you get the tray off, you're down to the bottom piece and we're gonna take these six little screws out right here. This tray will lift up out of here and that'll let us clean out the bottom super easy. So this is a T25 uh, Torx bit. Again, I'm just going to take these little screws out of here. Once those are out, simply lift up on the tray. Tray's out of your way. And now you can get this up out of here, clean it up. Once I get it cleaned up, we'll put it back together. Oh, and one last thing, when you're pulling this out, this piece here lifts straight up, the divider comes out. The rubber piece on the inside has a couple little flaps you can grab a hold of. So there's one to the back, there's one up here in the front. And you've got to just kind of slide it out from under your DC or your AC plugs. And again, this just comes right up out of here. So I need two hands for that. So I got most of the dust and debris out of there. I mean, you can sweep it a little bit better if you want. Again, mine's just going to get nasty again, so I'm not super worried about it. I got all the extra stuff that I didn't want out of there. So I'm going to put my rubber tray back in first. Push it down evenly. Now you can, of course, clean up anything you want as you feel needed while well, you got this out. Of Again, personally, it's going to get messed up again, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. I'm going to line these up basically with this tab right here. That way I know when I drop my tray back in, um, my rails are even. Got the back of my tray here. Um, the more curved pieces are towards the front. I just remember that from pulling it out of there. Plus, I just sat it right beside of it here where I wouldn't know which way it went. So I'm going to sit this back down on top of my rails. If it doesn't line up perfectly, just take your finger, slide underneath there. Be careful not to cut your fingers. And just push it down lightly and you'll see your screw holes all line back up. Once you get that lined up, we're going to put the screws back in. Uh, if you've watched my other videos, I always use an impact. Well, not always, but most of the time I use an impact tool. Uh, I use it all the time, every day in my normal work. so. If you're not careful with it, you will uh, strip these out. They're just plastic on the top. If you over tighten it, um, pretty much just gonna make a mess out of it. 
Uh, so you just want to run them down to their smooth or snug. So just run them down to their snug. If you feel better, you can use a uh, hand tool, tighten them up by hand. But again, I'm just going until they stop basically. It's a plastic tree, it's not going to fall out, they're not going to vibrate loose, they don't need to be super tight. And again, if you're not used to using an impact, at least start them by hand with a uh, you know, hand tool. That way you don't strip them out or cross thread something. You may have to take that back out again one day. So another thing, when this tray is out, you can actually just run this underwater and you can clean this out really good if you wanted to. Um, some people have been looking online. Uh, I know when I first started looking online, I saw a lot of people saying just grab this and pull it up and rip it out. Uh, all you're going to do is damage it. If you're just trying to clean out your cup holders, you need to take this tray off. When you flip it over, you're going to see one, two, three, four, five Allen head screws. This is a 764 uh, screw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take these out and remove my rubber cup holders. Uh, there's one more up here in the front. Of course, that one's down in where you can't get a hold of it either. Like this right there, right at the bottom later. Have to get those out, lift straight up on this, and you'll see the whole mechanism comes up out of there. Your button's still intact. Uh, don't knock your spring out. If you had to fix your button or you're replacing your button, uh, of course it's all apart now, so you can replace all that. Once you do that, then your rubber piece will just lift up out of here now. Because if you try to pull that out underneath of the other thing, these tabs right here are just going to rip, and you're just going to destroy your cup holder. And you'll never get it back in. So that comes out. So I'm gonna take this, clean it out. Once I get that cleaned out, we'll put it back together. And again, just be careful you don't knock your springs off. Um, if they're starting to rust up, you'll see there's a little lithium grease on here, and there's still grease on that one. Uh, the truck's pretty new. If it was an older truck and you were having problems with this, you could replace the springs or clean them up if you had to. Alright, so I'm back. Got this nice and cleaned out, much better than you could clean out, just sticking it down in there, a rag down there trying to get it. Uh, when you're putting this back in, there's two little um, cross tabs, so you make sure you get it in the right way. So you can't really put it in backwards unless you just try. Uh, push the rubber piece down in all the way so the uh, little tabs fit flushly in the bottom. Once you get that back in there, I'm going to do the opposite of what we did to take it apart. Put it back in. I'm going to line my buttonhole up first. Before I do that, I'm just going to wipe that off just because. So I'm gonna line my buttonhole up. There's a couple little crosses in here too that help you line this piece up. Once I get it lined up properly, I'm gonna take my screws and run them back down in. And again, I'm not gonna make you watch me uh, put screws in. So I got my screws all back in. So when you tighten these up, you don't wanna crank them. I, these are just buried at the point where they stopped. And then I just give them a little extra, uh, little effort just to make sure they don't fall back out. So we're ready to put our tray back in the top here. Again, these are the little tabs I was telling you when you were pulling up on it to pull up evenly. If you lost any of these or broke any of these, you can get these at AutoZone, Advance Auto, Arise, whatever your favorite part store is, or go back to the dealership if you want to get a, a dealer savvy. If it's a newer vehicle, they're probably not going to break. If it's an older vehicle, it's very possible you're going to snap a couple of these plastic clips. They just get old, they dry rot, and they snap. As uh, long as you don't actually break the tab off of your tray, you'll be fine. Nine times out of ten, this will break before the tab does, unless you're just pulling completely at a bad angle. Now put this back on. We want to put it in evenly. Basically the opposite of what we took it out. So we'll put it in place. I'm going to push the button. I'm going to pop my front down. It's going to just click. Work my way back. Click, 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 and my middle piece. And that's all there is to pulling that back out, or putting that back in. So our tray slides. We got a clean bottom, clean cup holders, clean bottom piece, coin tray in. Somebody was asking online too, I saw, and nobody had responded to them about how to reverse that. Uh, if you want your coins in the back, put it in that way. If you want your coins in the front, put it in that way. Me personally, don't carry any change ever, so it doesn't matter either way, but it gets more in the way 
tab them in the front because I'll throw little tools in there, little screwdrivers, pliers, whatever, and those get in the way. So I'm gonna put it this way. And that's all there is to removing the center sliding tray on a 2021 Dodge Ram. I did forget one last piece. This little guy here, uh, the way it faces the truck up. Of course, you don't wanna put it that way. So I'll put it down here. Put it so the trucks are facing upward and then just push down. That's back in place and now you can use it for your stop again. I hope that helps somebody out. Uh, please click on like and subscribe if you haven't already.